everybody, it's Lindsay, and I'm here to talk about how to be led by God's Spirit. So the first, there's five of them. Okay, so there's five. Number one, I cannot follow a culture that does not follow God. So do not follow the crowd in doing wrong. Number two, I cannot follow friends who are not led by God. Now, this does not mean that you need to drop all of your friends that don't believe in God. That's not what that means. Um, it just means you cannot follow them. Because if you surround yourself with people who are not godly, it's just you're going to end up in a moment of peer pressure. And you may give in. And peer pressure makes you miss God's plan for your life. In 1 John 3, 7, anyone who continues sin is led by the devil. So God wants you to have friends who are unbelievers, so that way you can bring them to him and influence them. Just do not let them influence you. Number three, I cannot look for other sources besides God. It's mutually exclusive. Reincarnation and eternal life. You cannot believe in both. They're literally mutually exclusive. It's either or. You cannot believe in God. And horoscopes. And tarot cards. It's just not the way it works. If you do... You are literally following divination. Divination is defined as looking for your future before going to God. If you follow the stars, you don't follow the sun. And um, I recently like, really started to get into this more and understand how doing that is like opening up windows for the enemy to get into your life if you go towards other like like for example if you go to horoscopes if you go to tarot cards if you go to basically anything that isn't of god you are basically like i'm sorry but <laughs> you the bible says you are just giving legal access to the enemy so if you want to know what to do stop going to a psychic stop going to tarot cards and stop going to the horoscope and go to god he will show you it's very clear that he will show you um and you're going to the right source and it's just like God has power and the enemy has power. But guess what? God has authority over the enemy. The enemy doesn't. So, obviously, God is more powerful. So, stop going to all of that and go to God. But just go to the wrong thing. Number four. I should not be led by my circumstances. So, ask God and seek his answer. You know? Don't be led by what you are in the situation. Be led by God. It's that simple. And finally, number five. I cannot be led by my feelings. Feelings are temporary. And the heart can be deceitful. And feelings are of the flesh. And God is spirit. So when you follow your feelings, you're not following the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, when you become a believer, is resonating within you. Yeah. And will show you the way. The Holy Spirit will teach you. It will guide. He will guide you. So. With that being said. Do not be led by your feelings. Because that is in the flesh. And. This life. You will learn a lot of lessons. And I have learned that many times. Not to be led by my feelings. Because many times. You will end up disappointed. So. Those are the five ways of how 
to be led by God's Spirit. And I'm going to say it one more time. Number one, I cannot follow a culture that does not follow God. Number two, I cannot follow friends who are not led by God. Number three, I cannot look for other sources besides God. Number four, I should not be led by my circumstances. And number five, I cannot be led by my feelings. So I hope that helped you out today. And um, I'm just really excited to see what God is going to be doing in and through you. And um, I hope that just really gave you some more insight of how to be led by God's spirit. Thank you so much and God bless.